Publisher and designer Franco Maria Ricci and his wife Laura have been passionate about bamboo since the 80s and when they decided to build a maze on their property in Fontanellato near Parma, this hardy, versatile and fast-growing plant was the natural choice. 200,000 plants from over 20 species on 8 acres brought Labirinto dell'Amazone to life. As the Ricci's discovered the many properties of bamboo, they sought to share them. In 2016, Under the Bamboo Tree was born, an event that includes conferences with international experts and expositions of products. The knowledge about the vast potentials of the species is spreading thanks to this initiative, which has become a yearly appointment. In 2018, the International Design Competition Bamboo Rush in collaboration with AIB, the Italian Bamboo Association, and the academic institution ISIA in Florence, has further enriched the event. Labirinto dell'Amazone is a world unto itself, a world to discover. Almost by mistake, we started with a little bush, bamboo bush of a, of a, of a black uh, bamboo, which is a very elegant uh, plant in our Milano garden. From there, when Franco decided to build the largest maze in the world, uh, we decided to use bamboo because Franco started when he was already 70 years old and he thought that unless he uh, decided for a very generous, a very quick growing plant, uh, he wouldn't have a chance of seeing the, the maze completed. What we want to achieve is uh, to grow with uh, the, the, to uh, increase the knowledge of bamboo. So with these uh, uh, appointments, we are now at the third uh, year of, of Under the Bamboo Tree, which is a line of an old song. Maybe uh, people don't know, but it is a Judy Garland uh, song. Um, we hope, and we uh, think that we are doing it, actually, uh, letting know more about bamboo. My experience with bamboo in this place starts three years ago when Lorenzo Barr contacted me and to try to organize with Laura Casalis Ricci and Franco Maria Ricci the first event to make people um, know this place, this wonderful place. This is the amazing place. This is the biggest, uh, the hugest uh, maze in the world made of bamboo, so no one knows this. And it seems that there is a perfect location to start an, an European centre to defund knowledge, to spread knowledge about bamboo. And so we start to work and now we are here for the third years. I think this place is really amazing. I, I, when I know about this place, I think three years ago, I, I cannot believe that a place like this exists in, the, in Italy. And, and uh, for me it was a, a surprise and, and when I talked with friends and uh, colleagues about the, this place and showed the pictures, they also are completely uh, disturbing about the idea of this place. It's amazing. It's, I think the idea to have this labyrinth making bamboo was a really nice idea and it's a, a lot of potential for this place for, to work with bamboo as well. My experience with bamboo started in 2013 when I moved to China. I was an invited professor at the Hunan University where I found a good friend of mine, Professor Xiao Yen, who is one of the first bamboo builders, so-called, in China. And he transmitted me his passion for this material. So as soon as I started working with them, I realized that there's no uh, framework uh, in which to develop uh, a solid uh, bamboo theory. And we started working on that. So I brought in my experience that I've developed here in, uh, in Europe in several commissions, uh, and uh, they brought in their passion and they, their several ideas uh, on how to use bamboo for architectural purposes. In my experience with bamboo, it is just a little things of bamboo, just a little object, but it, it was so elastic, so fantastic, so light, that I think that what material I have in my hand. And in this moment, moment I think that these incredible materials. Actually, I have 
20 years of experience working with bamboo already. I started in 1996 or seven, doing some furniture for my student apartment. And at that moment, I realized that there, is, there was no technical information about bamboo. And I decided to do my thesis about the uh, structural resistance of the Colombian species of Wadua. And after that, I just get in, in, in love with the material and continue researching and researching during the last 20 years. Currently, we are working on several experiments uh, about the structural use of bamboo as a net system, diffused system like this, uh, and uh, also about fibers, uh, how the way to use bamboo as a fiber because it's very resistant uh, with other materials. With fibers of bamboo, I think we can have some very interesting nets uh, and also structural nets that can be useful also for structural purposes. Now mm, I realize a team of researchers uh, with Luisa Molari, Lando Mentrasti, Lorenzo Barr and Mirko Maraldi. We want to uh, reach a basic knowledge uh, about uh, Italian bamboo uh, as a building uh, material. At this moment um, we have carried out uh, mechanical tests. Now uh, we will find to to know uh, some basic um, properties of Italian bamboo. It's a three-story house without concrete, which is only bamboo uh, with um, dry-mounted joints, which means put up together without penetrating, penetrating it with bolts or, or nuts and without using concrete. And now, at this moment, it will be built like in six months, will be built uh, an amazing structure made of arches of bamboo without concrete again. And that's going to be in the hope in the next interview will be the best. <laughs> but the house is definitely the most um, uh, significant structure I've done until today. Uh, I hope to achieve uh, that um, bamboo um, will uh, could be uh, um, a material like uh, steel, concrete and, uh, and timber. My big dream is uh, to can help, really help uh, people to live a better life, uh, more uh, happier and healthy and with more quality life. This means also living a healthier house, a sustainable house, uh, protect planet, uh, the environment. Uh, and give a small contributor with my professionality about this. That is a plant that is a very aesthetic plants. It's very beauty plants. You, when you see a bamboo, you recognize everywhere that is a bamboo and there is something that, um, that is interesting because you are one piece of wood and a lot of leaves. So you have the flexibles, but in the same time you have the leaves that move and it's two times, a uh, two way for to, for to leave this world. As I think that is intrinsic plant. It's free, so it grows freely, it grows fast uh, and uh, we can easily collect it. Uh, and it's, uh, it's also uh, very workable in the sense that it can be engineered and the difference between uh, they used, uh, they made in the past about bamboo as a traditional material. Now we are trying to engineer that. I think resilience. Resilience because bamboo is a very resilient plant, uh, herb, and uh, is ductile, is very resistant. The fibers are extremely resilient. And I think this is important both for to use it as a, let's say, a couple with other materials or alone. It can help poverty as well, and, um, and, and it's beautiful. You see the background, we can see a beautiful pavilion, uh, very simple, done by students and, and built with their own hands. So it's, you can do magnificent things yourself. You don't need factories, you don't need construction companies. You can do it by yourself or you can do it with friends or with a group of people. So that's kind of my, my future vision of, of the things of the world. The Bamboo Rush contest was a great idea that actually we had to, uh, to promote more the, plant, the bamboo plant 
And actually we, have the, we had this year the interest of many, many architects and engineers who wanted to uh, invent or to try to use bamboo in many different aspects and inventing objects and design. And we had three winners and we actually discovered the many possibilities also with the creativity of those architects and, and designers uh, with the use of bamboo. What we would like to do is every year maybe to change a little bit the theme and to, uh, to investigate really what bamboo can be used, uh, how it, bamboo can be used for architecture or with engineering structures or also again design but maybe in different uh, matters and, and with, with different uses. Mm -hmm.